Don't I guess just uh, UTRGV tomorrow. Thoughts before season opener? How good is it to just kind of get to this point, considering how weird the off season's been? Well, um, it's I'm so excited. I mean, I'm I've waited for this day for a long time, and and not just for me, but for those girls in the in the locker room and and for Texas Tech and Lady Raider Nation. So it's a big day. It's exciting. Um, you know, we can, as a coach, you always want more practice. You never know if you're ready. But very strange times without having any scrimmages or exhibitions or anything like that. Like, this is a really, um, you know, just challenge. It's a big challenge um, to be able to put your team out there for the first time. Um, but I'm excited for it, and, and I'm excited for our, our players. And I think they're going to really walk through that door of opportunity and have a great night. How have you kind of seen um, the people that you had here on this roster when you came in kind of mix with, with girls like Vivian and uh, Brent who have come in? Yeah, I think um, the girls have done a great job of just <clears throat> accepting the new players that, that we've brought in. And I think the new players have done a great job of, of coming in and, and developing good relationships and, and earning respect right away. Um, I think our crowd is going to love, um, you know, the, the relationship that they see between, like, for instance, Lexi and Vivian. Um, you know, I think that could be a challenge for some coaches. And I think they have handled it great. And they've come in and they've, they've really accepted one another and just one another's talents. And they're excited to play together. Like, it's really been fun to coach them and to have that caliber of um, – did I get knocked off? Dude, I was trying, y'all. I know. And I would have said that had y'all not been sitting there, too. <laughs> oh, sorry, guys. <laughs> it looked like, I'm sorry, y'all. They are sitting right here, but I would have said it anyway. Hey, Brenda. Um, but I am, I am, I'm really excited about the two of them playing together particularly and, and adding CC out there as well. I mean, those are three really dynamic players um, who have done nothing but complement each other. So I think it's going to be really cool to watch them on the court. In terms of the two Oklahoma State ads, uh, I don't think we've talked to you since that they became official. In terms of Vivian and Brent, how did – that come about and, and how easy was it for you to bring them onto the roster in terms of you saying, oh, yeah, we'll take you? <laughs> well, I mean, <clears throat> let's just be honest. I mean, the one with Bryn it was pretty much easy. I mean, we are blood related. So, you know, if she says no to that, I might be a little upset. But actually, it was great and it was um, really exciting and, and just a dream come true for our family. Um, and then for as far as Vivian goes, you know, that was in the works for her. I mean, that's that was her deal. Um, you know, I mean, I think that that she put herself in the transfer portal. Um, she was looking for a different opportunity um, for different reasons, and and I would let her answer that question. Um, but it was a great phone call for me to make, and a and a natural phone call for me to make. Um, but there wasn't anything easy about the acquisition, if you will. Um, you know, I think mean, I think she put a lot of time and effort and thought into where she wanted to go and where she wanted to play her last year of eligibility. And um, you know, we tried to present the best case possible, just as other, not only Big Twelve schools did, but other um, you know conference schools did, and, and meaning you know the SEC and the ACC and things like that. So we're very excited to have her here, and um, her, she and Bryn both, and uh, you know they're going to be fun to watch in the Lady Raider uniform as well. Hey, Coach. Um, oh, my bad. Go ahead. Oh, thank you, man. Thank you. Um, from the videos and everything I've seen on Twitter, it looks like you have a really tight-knit group, even with the interviews between Vivian and Lexi. It looks like they're really close. Can you just talk a little about the team's chemistry? Yes, I can. Um, you know, that's one of the things that I thrive my programs on, um, and part of that is because when I played, our chemistry was so great. Um, but it's a work in progress. It is not – um, overnight, it doesn't happen overnight, it's not developed overnight, and you're definitely going to go through some ups and downs, um, but, you know, I I do think that they're working hard at it, and it's something that 
I feel is really, really important. Um, and I feel like we're taking steps forward. Um, you know, I think it's going to, like I said, it's going to continue to be um, a, a, a work in progress just because, um, you know, everything's new. We have so many new players. We have a new coaching staff. Um, so it is. It's a challenge at times. But I've been really pleased with them, and, and we are having fun. And that's that's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to have fun when you play this game. You're supposed to have fun with your, 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 when you're with a team and, uh, and, your team, and with your teammates. And I just think that the more that we can just give them opportunities to develop relationships amongst each other and um, the, the better we're going to be on the team when, we, when that ball goes up and, and it's game time. And then a little bit more on the court. Last time you talked to us, you said a couple players were banged up. Is there any more injury updates as of today? Um, we have um, 12 active players. Um, we do have a couple that are going to be out, um, you know, here and there. Um, but for the most part, the two that are injured are injured for the season. Um, and then – you know, we're just going to take it one step at a time. I mean, it's it's going to be an interesting year, no doubt, just with all the COVID testing and um, just some different situations. And then I will say too. I mean, I don't know if I'm if I'm I think I'm allowed to say this, but like Hattie, um, one of our post players, she is was invited to play with her um, national team um, over in the FIBA games. So we're going to be without her for a, at least our first four games, and that's gonna that's gonna affect us a little bit but we're proud of her we're proud of her for the opportunity that she's getting and we were anxious for her to get back so we definitely will have some limited numbers early um but hopefully the the kids that we can put on the floor you know can can stay healthy and and get things done all right thank you coach yeah thank you, you coach what's the is there are there any conversations right now just between you and the team about the opportunity of being able to come out and have a blank slate and after just all of the challenges that have come you know for these players and for this program um, having the chance to be able to come out and this is the first shot this is the first impression uh, to be able to start writing you know the the next chapter their own story um, and that's going to come tomorrow yeah I, we actually talk about that every day and um, we have talked about it a lot probably in the last. 48 hours and it's something that we really need all of our kids to buy into and I want them to buy into that for them um, because it is it's a great opportunity it's a um, something that they are in control of um, if they want to write the narrative of their story then they've got to step up and do that and and everybody deserves to have a clean slate at some point and I hope that they will all take advantage of that opportunity and I, and I really am hopeful that they knock some people's socks off starting tomorrow night. Tomorrow afternoon, one o'clock, one o'clock, tomorrow afternoon, one o'clock. <laughs> in terms of a local kid, uh, oh, did I get one more in? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, sorry. In terms of a local kid, uh, we noticed Ashlyn from Friendship yep. on the roster. What led to her being added to the Lady Raider team? Yeah. I mean, it's been exciting. I've been, I have loved all the support that she has garnered from the Lubbock area of her being on our roster. Um, and, and she's such a great addition. She's a great teammate. She brings lots of positivity. Um, you know, she, she, I'm, she's working hard to get some opportunities on the court to help us. And I just think she's a great addition. And I think it's going to open some eyes of some others, um, you know, in the area, whatever, what it means to be a Lady Raider and to come play and stay at home. I think that's super important. And I think she's going to kind of show everybody what that looks like. So I'm excited for her. I guess for each of you guys, uh, thoughts going into the season opener, obviously it's been a long road for, I think, everyone in college athletics. Uh, but, yeah, for you guys personally, what's it been like and, and what are the emotions heading into it? Excitement. Yeah, for sure. Excited. I feel like we haven't played in forever. It's been – I actually tracked it. It's been like 200 and – something days since we've last played a game. So we're really excited. Um, I'm really excited to get on the court with my teammates and, you know, just show everybody what we're about and show everybody that Coach Gerlich like here is – she knows what she's doing and she's she's really pu pulling us together and we're really excited to play under her. Yeah. I mean, I'm just excited to represent um, Texas Tech. You know, it's a different opportunity. It's a whole different scenario. Um, but I love my teammates and I'm excited to go to battle with them. Yes. Lexi, with the way that things – the season ended 
last year. Do you have a different approach? Has that kind of changed your mentality and just the way that you approach game day and, you know, a season opener and just being able to be with your teammates and, and you know, living through kind of all of the, the challenges that COVID has presented? Yeah, for sure. I mean, last year when we realized that the tournament was going to be canceled because of COVID, it was really heartbreaking. We were in the, um, I think it was like a food room, just crying sad and then having to go home and right now I'm kind of just taking every game day by day because we don't know what's promised and we don't know what could happen next so I'm excited for this first game I'm ready for I'm ready for Wednesday I'm ready to go and um I'm excited for everyone to see what we've been doing and how hard we've been working and yeah I'm just I'm just trying to take it day by day just just enjoying what I can Coach Gerlich said that you guys were a really tight-knit group and stuff coming from Oklahoma State. How easy has the transfer been made to Lubbock with a group of good teammates like this? It's actually a lot easier than I expected, honestly. Um, I was a little bit nervous coming in, but um, the girls have just welcomed me with open arms, and I just had a really good time. It's been a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. For you in particular, what when you were looking – at schools, what stood out about Texas Tech that made you think that that would be the place you'd want to go? Um, a couple things. First of all, Coach Garlic, um, not only as a coach, but uh, as a person. I think she's a great person, um, and that's really high on my list. Um, and then just from the outside looking in, the team just seems like they were so close and loved each other and would fight for each other, and that was something that uh, I was really looking for in a new school. Uh, yeah, I'll keep going. Uh, Lexi, <laughs> each year uh, it seems like teams have different identities. What would yeah. you kind of say is the identity of this season, the Lady Raider team, maybe even compared to last season? I mean, I feel like this group is a group of a bunch of different people that are coming from a bunch of different stories, a bunch of different backgrounds, and we kind of just all have meshed into one. So I feel like we're all, we all have a common goal and we all want to win and we all want to fight for each other. So I think that's kind of like our – our team goal is just to come out on the court for 40 minutes and fight as hard as we can and have the whole, like, have everyone leave the arena knowing that those girls can fight and those girls want to win for each other, not just for themselves, but for each other and for their coach is coaches. <laughs> A question for kind of both of y'all. Um, oh, my bad. You can go. No, go ahead, Zach. You're good. You, sir? Yeah, go for it. <laughs> A uh, question for both of you guys. Obviously, there's a ton of offensive firepower on the court. How has that kind of gone, trying to, like, distribute the ball, being unselfish with all the scores on offense? It's actually pretty easy, honestly. Easy. Um, there's not somebody that people can't guard. No, they have to guard all of us. Um, so it's actually been really fun to share yeah. the ball. We have a lot of assists to each other, honestly. <laughs> we do. So. Yeah, it's easy. I mean, we all know what we're all good at. So I, I feel like – for example, like me and Vivian, we compliment each other at the three and the four and vice versa. So we can we can really put each other in positions to score, putting put each other in positions to just get easy assists. Um, I know that if I pass it to her, she's gonna make the shot and I just need to go vice versa. Yeah. <laughs> and I just need to go crash for no reason, but she's gonna make it. She's good. She's a great player. I love playing with her. You got time for one more, if y'all. Okay, I'll do the last one then. This is for uh, both of you guys. Um, is there any player in particular that you think is going to come and like kind of take these fans by surprise, whether it's someone that's, um, Lexi, you kind of have perspective and then someone who's come a long way since last year, yeah. um, or even a newcomer for this, <laughs> Brenda, <laughs> or a newcomer from, uh, this group, whether it's at Najee or, or Hattie or, or, you know, maybe one of the freshmen or someone that's just, uh, you want for fans to be kind of looking out for that you think is going to have a breakout this year this year. I think there's quite a few people, yeah. honestly. Um, I'll point out Tuck. Tuck works really hard. She's a great rebounder. I think that um, fans are going to be surprised by what she does this year. Hattie is a great post player. Yeah. She's very athletic. Um, she uses her length well. Um, Bryn is a great shooter. Honestly, Naj, great shooter. Every, I think <laughs> I a mean, lot yeah, of people. You go down the line. I yeah. mean, Naj will bring this fiery, feisty kind of attitude to the game. And Bryn, she brings this calmness to the court. You'll see that she can she can really – sometimes she just, like, maneuvers around people, and you don't really know how she does it, you but she gets it done. It. Yeah. yeah, and then, I mean, Maka, she's she's done a lot better this year about being more confident and, you know, defending when we need her. She does, she does everything that she needs to do. Tuck, 
she's <laughs> she's just like she's taken a huge like maturity step since her freshman year to her sophomore year. That's that's been very evident. Um, I feel like Kyla, she's a huge post presence. And she's trying like she's 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 really soaking everything in and she's being really coachable and a great teammate. And I mean, everyone, everyone <laughs> is great. Like. <laughs> Everyone, you need to look out for everybody because everybody is going to have a huge, a huge part of our success. Awesome. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.